What's up, guys? Back again. Um, another video. Obviously, you guys can see today's topic: coilovers. Everybody's favorite. Um, yeah. Sorry for the boring ass setting. We were gonna do this at the shop, but uh, didn't have time and space. Plus, it was too loud there. So we are at Mikasa. Welcome to my home. <laughs> But yeah, uh, guys, I just want to go a quick thing. Everybody want to talk about coilovers. What's always the best? What to do? Um, how do I lower my car? Um, what are my options? Um, well, I'm going to go over five, my top five coilovers that I think is probably the best. Um, I would say budget-oriented, too, because I could just list out five coilovers that nobody could afford. But what good does that do to anybody? So, I guess let's say number five coilover I would start off with is I would probably say BC Racing. Um, they actually do have some pretty good coilovers, not the extreme lows though, don't, don't get the extreme lows. Um, but if you actually get the regular coilovers, they do offer custom spring rates, and if you go with custom spring rates, the BC, the BC coilovers aren't that bad. Um, you know, for the money, you know, the type of valving system you get, it's, it's really not bad at all. Um, they, they'll ride pretty good, they have um, like pretty good dampening settings on them too. Um, the internals are actually pretty good on the BCs too. Um, so yeah, BC number five. Uh, number four, um, definitely I would do a separate shock coilover setup, like getting uh, like coin yellows compared with like um, running them up with uh, ground control coils, something like that. Um, a setup like that, you're going to have a really good ride. Um, it's going to be really comfortable. If that's more streetable, if that's the guy that you're looking for, that's kind of street street drives a lot. Because um, the ground controls and the corn yellows actually will ride really good. Um, if you're not so worried about the you know the adjustment rate of the um, like trying to adjust the height of the car, you can also just run corn yellows and springs. That is like the I will say the ultimate ride. Um, that I mean I don't even know a setup that will ride more comfortable than that setup. Now, you can get setups that'll handle better, for sure, but when it comes to ride and, you know, I want my car to ride good, I'm on the street 99% of the time, you know, a coin yellow and a lowering spring, hands down, gonna be your best ride. Um, that's why I did put those over the BCs, just because the ride is better. Um, Price-wise, they're probably about the same as the BCs, but the ride's better. Now, I think the BCs with custom spring rates will probably do a little better on the track, but, you know, most of my guys here are probably street drivers, so you're probably not going to need all that. Um, number three, I've said the Buddy Club RSVs. Um, those are cut up currently what I'm on right now on my car. Um, I love them. Um, they're a little old technology. Um, you can find them used for a pretty decent price. Um, they are like, I think they're like a $1,600 coil or setup, but if you get them used, um, I still would recommend those. Um, I drive on them every day. Um, street drive, you guys obviously know, track ride. I, I would say I love them. Those compared with, you know, you get some good sway bars on the car. That's, I don't know, setup I run. I'm, I'm happy with it. I have no complaints of it whatsoever. Um, it's, it's a really good setup. Um, let's see, number two. Number two. I have to put it at Fortunato. Um, Fortunato coils are hands down top quality for the money. Um, I know they did stop making Fortunato coil for the RSX, but if you can still find a pair, get them. Um, if you're looking at the you know the valving internal site of you know the coilover and how it actually is valved, how the adjustment range it is, that is like, I mean, I would say. Fortune Auto Coils are maybe a two thousand dollars setup. You know, if you actually look at the internals, how the you know how the shock is built, um, that is a very, very, very nice coilover. And for the price they're selling them at, that's not bad either. You know, if you're looking for the guy that you track a lot, you know, you want a wide range of adjustment. Um, you know, hands down, that is a bang for buck coilover. Um, the reason I don't have those on my car is fortunately I was not out back in the day. Um, but uh, back in the day, uh, Buddy Club was probably the best option, so that's why I went with them. But um, if I could get coilovers again, I would say upgrading to the Fortunato would be 
a good choice for me because they are cheaper than the buddy clubs and I feel they would perform better than my setup too. Now, number one, you guys are probably wondering, what would be the best coilover setup for the, for the money? Best coilover setup might be something like this to build your own setup. That probably would be the best setup is going a complete custom coil. And you guys are probably like, man, that's probably going to cost a shit ton of money, man, going custom coils. Well, not really. That's the thing about it is a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think, you know, custom coilovers, man, it's going to be, you know, $3,000 for custom coils. Well, correct and incorrect. Because what I've done for people is um, actually, like, if you buy a really basic budget coil, like, uh, like these are, for example, um, these are very basic budget coils. They're kind of cheap coils, honestly. Um, and a lot of people would say, hey, I don't recommend buying cheap coils. These are cheap coils right here. And the setup is, a lot of people say, well, you know, well, why buy cheap coilovers? Okay, correct. These are... These are dollar coilovers right here. They really are. But the problem is, what's wrong with the with the with the cheap coilovers? I would say, for example, um, the you know the low budget ones, the ones that all the you know poor kids buy. Um, well, the problem is the valving in them is horrible. Um, the you know basically the dampening rate is horrible. Um, they have horrible seals in them, so they're gonna blow. Um, and the fluid is complete trash inside. So that's why budget coilovers kind of suck, to be honest with you, and that's what a lot of people think. They'll just buy them, and then they, they blow two months later because the internals of the shock is crap. And, you know, that's what you get from buying a budget, you know, from, like, if you get the really cheap, crappy coilovers, well, this is what you're going to get. But, you know, if you actually look at it, from my point of instance, well, I mean, you look at it, well, what's, what's wrong with this coilover? Um, you know... Externally wise, everything is fine though. So what if I fix the problems in these basically cheapo piece of shit coilovers? Um, that might make, a, you know, you could actually get a really good coilover if you just fix the problems in them. So for example, like these have already been rebuilt and they've been upgraded internally. So for example, like these, you know, the valving is different inside. Um, we actually um, increase the fluid, so you have a lot better fluid inside, so you get a lot better ride. Um, and then change out the seals too, because the seals the seals blow, the coilover blows. But if you just change out the dollar, you know, the dollar seals with the better seals, you know, now now if you do all that to these, you know, these cheapo budget coilovers, what kind of sets them apart? You know, I mean, bolt up wise. It's, it's going to bolt up in your car fine. I mean, they, they bolt up in everybody's car fine. But, you know, it's basically you took the lower end and you built it to something, you know, higher end. And that actually would work. I, you know, I mean, I, it was a concept thought at first. But, uh, you know, once we actually took these apart and actually looked at the cheaper ones and actually figured out what's wrong with them, um, they, they're actually, you can get a really, really nice coilover. Like, you can build a setup that probably costs, you know, you can, you can get these coilovers built for like a grand, you know, let's say you buy $500 coilovers, dump $500 in them, you know, now you have a $1,000 coilover that's probably going to perform as good as some guys that have $2,000 coilovers, you know, you know, you buy these, take them apart, change the valvings out, get, you know, obviously they come with some really shitty springs, so, you know, you get some nice Swiss springs to go along with them. You know, I mean, for the money now, that would be my number one option. You know, if you're if you're looking at for the money, you know, now obviously you know the buddy clubs are nice and everything, and so are the Fortune Autos, but you're gonna pay more. You know, um, but for the budget wise guy, these aren't bad. You know, I've track raced on a couple of these. Um, you know, they really work. Yeah, I would say. Actually, I've built coilovers that outperform my buddy clubs on people's cars. Um, I'm actually looking at actually doing this myself. I'm actually about to sell my buddy clubs just to actually get some cheaper coils and rebuild them to better specs than my buddy clubs. Um, I know it seems like an easier for me. I can save some money. I can probably still sell my buddy clubs for a good amount of money and just get basically build my own coilovers. Um, tried it. Worked. So, uh... Yeah, guys, I mean, that's my top five setup, I would say, for coils. Um, if you got any other things, leave some comments below. Leave your setups if you feel 
my five is different than your five, shoot it down low. Maybe somebody will like it. You know, we'll, we'll see. So, all right, guys, that's my cool over thing. If you guys got any more videos, just let me know what you want to know. Uh, yeah, but all right, guys, peace.